My name is Cindy Sloan. I'm the Vice President and Director of the Food Bank of Manatee that's operated by Meals on Wheels Plus. We're at our 19th annual Empty Bowls event. We are lucky enough to be here at the Manatee Performing Arts Center to host the event today. So I'm in air conditioning. I think that because it is the Empty Bowls event and it symbolizes trying to help end hunger, that people just want to support it. It's a fun lunchtime event. They know they get to pick the bowls, which they have so much fun doing. We have uh, 15 or 16 soup vendors upstairs. They get to sample multiple soups and then choose one that they want. So it's just a fun, fun get together for uh, people. And you know, you'll see groups of people coming and just enjoying the day and supporting us. Well, the, we have bowls from the wood turners and those always go real fast because they're uh, unique bowls. And then we have bowl painting parties throughout the year. It's done by different schools, different clubs, different groups. And so that's where the bowls will come from. You'll see people come in and they'll always be trying to look for their bowl, but you never know where it's at. The Food Bank of Manatee supports over 100 different agencies. We have about 55 pantries. We have about 20 residential programs. We have backpack programs, after school programs. If they're a nonprofit or a church, they're allowed to come to the food bank, pick out the food that they want for their mission, and then take it back to their location. We also do emergency baby baskets and food baskets for agencies like CPS, the Child Protective Services, the Sheriff's Department, and Hope Family Services. They're on the front lines dealing with families in crisis, but we are the support behind them to make sure that those families have food. And that's what we want to do, just make sure Manatee County people that need food can find food. We took 17 school buses to the 17 Manatee County Publix locations. Uh, we had teams of people at all the Publixes helping to load the buses. And then we had uh, State College of Florida brought three teams over to unload the buses. They were fantastic. And we collected over 106,000 pounds of food. Our goal was 100,000, so when we surpassed it, we were ecstatic. It's 365 days a year. That's what I always tell people, you know, there is an ongoing need. So what we're trying to do at the food bank is to stress to the businesses that are doing food drives now because there are so many that are helping us with our barrels. We want them to think about it again in the spring and in the summer. Host food drives then when, when that's when our shelves start to get empty. There is a greater need, I think, because during Thanksgiving, the kids are out of school for a full week. During Christmas, the kids are out of school for two weeks. And we have over 60% of our uh, Manatee County schools are you know, free and reduced lunch. That means those kids are getting breakfast and lunch at school. So when they're home for those periods of times, we have to help those families make sure that they can feed them. But then everybody's looking for the holiday meals too, of course, because it's a time that people are trying to celebrate and they want to be able to feed their families in a celebration style. Well, we uh, serve a lot of the backpack agencies during the school year, and actually right now we're packing backpacks for the Giving Alliance out in Mayaka City, and those go to Mayaka Elementary every uh, week. So, but then when the backpack agencies are not packing because school's out, then we found that there was a real great need. So we teamed up with the School Nutrition Department of Manatee County Schools, found out where their Kids Eat Free Summer Hunger Bus was going, found out where they were taking large amounts of food to kids like in summer schools and in community areas. And we just went out to those areas ourselves and we delivered two breakfasts, two lunches, two dinners and two snacks, over 118,000 bags. Um, it, financial support is always wonderful. We have a lot of uh, uh, big nonprofits that will give us a big donation, then they'll ask the community to match it. If they hear about that match, please, if you can have, if you have the wherewithal to be able to support us financially, that's when it's like two for one. Or if you're in a business or a community center or a church that would take a food drive barrel, we take the barrels to them, we go pick them up. So it's not much work, it just has to be monitored. But there's a lot of ways that the community can support us. There's no question about it. What we are dealing with is the working poor. Most people do have jobs, but they're not making enough money to pay the high rents and the, uh, you know, the gas and the, it's just like one crisis away from being able to put food on their table. If they have a flat tire or the transmission in their car goes, that's it. They don't have the savings to be able to pull themselves out of that. So we have to make sure that we're there to pay, get the food to them so that that's one less worry for their families. 
Well, you know that Meals on Wheels Plus does, we have the home delivered meals, we have the congregate dining sites, we have the Daybreak Adult Day Center, and the Food Bank of Manatee. But you'll see employees from every part of that organization, we're, they're all here today, even though this is a food bank event, we're one big team at Meals on Wheels Plus. And my volunteers came with me today, I recruit them and I and they're always glad to come and help me. And I said, you know, if you're gonna volunteer at the food bank, you're gonna go with me when I do events. This is Mary Meyer. She has been volunteering with me over 10 years. Her husband was ill and she had to be very, very quiet in the morning. So she wanted to find a place to volunteer. She came over to the food bank and came in a few days a week. Now she comes in five days a week. We also are very close friends. We hang out together in the evenings. We have dinner together. I moved just five blocks away from her and so it makes it even more fun that we can be together. But Mary attends all the events with me. She's a little bit older so I have her sitting down but she's my bowl wrapper. She doesn't mind if I tell that she's 85. We are packing probably uh, 75 uh, baby bags is what we call them uh, a week. We have a lot of churches that offer it to their clients that are coming to their pantries. We, that's another one that the uh, Hope Family Services and CPS uh, take advantage of. It's, um, that's Mary's department. She's the one that puts the food away, date makes, ch checks it for dates. We don't give out a big box of diapers. We buy the diapers in bulk and then we put 12 diapers in a bag and we put smaller amounts of wipes because we're trying to be of assistance but not create dependence. We want to make sure that we're helping them, but not creating dependence on us. So that's what Mary will do with our other volunteers. We also make sure that we do dog food for our home delivered meal clients. And we take big bags of dog food and we'll down bag it because if our home delivered meal client has just that hot meal in front of them and they have no food for their pet, what are they going to do? They're going to share their meal. We want them to get that nutritious meal. And so we send the pet food so that they can feed their animals also. Well, I'm sure that if anybody has watched the news, they've seen the transition we've been through this year with Feeding Tampa Bay canceling two contracts, our retail store pickup contract and our USDA TFAP food contract. So we're still standing strong. We have never varied from our mission. Our mission is to feed Manatee County. So I say, if you can help us feed Manatee, please join us, either by doing barrel donations, financial donations, whatever it takes. I've been at the food bank for 12 and a half years. I've never had a more rewarding job in my life to be able to partner with all these wonderful organizations out there and meet their needs. What do they need? And make sure that that's what's being taken care of. In Lakewood Ranch Main Street tomorrow, we'll do the same thing. We'll set up and we'll serve the soups and we'll have the bowls out and it'll be a lot of fun tomorrow too. And the weather's going to be perfect. Our phone number is 941-747-4655. That rings to the Meals on Wheels Plus office, but all they have to do is ask for the food bank. We also have a lot of information on our website. It's mealsonwheelsplus.org, and they can find numbers and contact us, and we'd, I'd be happy to assist in any way. If somebody wants to volunteer or support us or do a food drive, whatever it takes, I'm there. My name is Judy Bjork. I'm the Vice President of Events and uh, Volunteer Engagement. And we're here today at Empty Bowls uh, for our 19th year. But this is the first year that we're at the Manatee Performing Arts Center. We are so excited, this beautiful venue. Um, so this is Empty Bowls. It is our biggest fundraiser for the Food Bank of Manatee. Our guests come in, they purchase tickets for this event, and they get uh, a, a beautiful ceramic bowl that have been painted by students in our community, uh, folks in our community, as well as donated by several different um, art companies. And uh, they then pick out, they choose a bowl, they go upstairs, and we have 15 restaurants up there with soups, so they can sample soups, and they can uh, then decide what soup they like, and they get a, a, a nice full bowl of soups. Well, I've been here for, this is my 12th year of um, Empty Bowls, uh, and uh, we've had it at one location for quite a while. Then we decided it was so popular we would go to two. We have one downtown Bradenton and Lakewood Ranch Main Street, uh, usually consecutively two days in a row, a Thursday and a Friday. Um, we have people that have been coming here for the last, I, we just asked somebody, uh, she said, how many years? I said, 19. She said, I've been here 18 years. So um, we have a lot of people who have come regular. Uh, it, the event has grown and become very popular in our community. Um, it is a great way to help the Food Bank of Manatee. 
The mission of our food bank is to feed the people in Manatee County solely. That's what we do. Um, we have uh, the baby baskets. We have the uh, summer hunger sacks that feed the children, the school-aged children. We feed uh, families. So we really cover all of Manatee County and um, to make sure that no one goes hungry. Absolutely. We have plenty that have been doing it for years. This year we have several new restaurants. Metro Diner has pitched in, uh, USF Culinary, um, Manatee, uh, Manatee Technical has, is here for the first time. So, and there's others, but we have, um, we're so grateful for, the, for them. Uh, we could not do this without the restaurants and their support. And they bring in five gallons of soup and someone like Popey's, people come here every year for her lemon chicken soup, which is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have an amazing community. I have been working with Meals on Wheels for the last 13 years, and um, I cannot believe the need in the community and the support in the community. Uh, but from the volunteers that come in to help us every single day, to the companies that support our events, to our annual sponsors that support our organization. Um, I've been, I've lived in New York for many years. When I got here, I was a little concerned about it being, um, I lived in a smaller community in New York that I wouldn't have that feeling of community and I have it a hundred times more. Um, it's just amazing to see what people do. Everybody wants to help. That was through Publix and the Manatee School District. They take buses and we leave them at all the Publix in Manatee County. Um, we collected over 106,000 pounds of food. At that point, our uh, food bank was quite empty. Uh, I had been there the day before and I went there the Monday after and the shelves were completely full. It was unbelievable. So all of the folks that went out and shopped, the publics that helped us to do the buy one get ones of the things that we really, really need for the food bank. So it, it, was, it was a spectacular event. We, that 106 pounds of food will go very fast. This time of the year, people are very generous. Uh, we get a lot of donations, um, but it's it's uh, you know a 12 month of the year, especially the summer months when children are home and there's not enough food in their house. So, um, you know, we really look to our community to do food drives. The companies that do food drives, uh, just to donations to the food bank goes such a long way. The best way to do anything with our organization is to go to our website, www.mealsonwheelsplus.org. That will show you how to volunteer. There are tabs to donate. There are um, events that you might want to show up to because that's a great way. We do a lot of fundraisers. Uh, so that would give you all the information. Our website is, is, is full of um, you know everything that we need. Our day break is, um, <clears throat> well, we have, uh, what. We, we have is is that one of our our mission is is to keep people living independently and healthy. So we have uh, Richmond Center at Renaissance on Ninth that folks can go to and enjoy. We have our congregate programs, which are for people who are still active and want to get out and meet people. It's called Friendship Dining or Congregate. Uh, uh, group and um, they are able to come in and enjoy a nice healthy meal and some fun and then we have daybreak which is more for caretakers it's for people who really want their loved ones to have somewhere to go where they're safe and they have um, a, you know a, a, an enrichment enriching day for them so these folks that are sitting home um, watching TV and not doing anything and you see them declining and then they come to daybreak and their loved ones are saying you can't believe they come home it's they're so engaged in what's going on there so um, it, it is a pheno phenomenal program and place it is the only licensed adult daycare in Manatee County I've been participating in Empty Bowls since my first year in business. I've been open 12 years. I have not missed one yet. I think it's real important because it's feeding empty tummies, as they say. And then the homeless population is, is incredible here in Manatee County. And I forgot the, the statistics, but thousands of children go to bed hungry every uh, evening. So I think this is an awesome cause. The mission of uh, the food bank is very important because it feeds hungry people. You know, no one should go hungry. No one. There's, a, there's enough food around the world to feed people over and over and over again. It's not the amount of food, it's, it's the waste and, and it's administration and it's bureaucracy because there's no reason why everybody shouldn't have a, three full meals every day.
I wouldn't call it a competition. I, I call it more of a collaboration. I mean, you know, every every year I see the same people. I see my friend Tracy from Kremesh. I see Popey from Popey's. I see the same people every year, and it and it isn't really a competition. It's just more of a collaboration. We're all friendly. We all love doing this together. Today is a is is what I always do. It's a roasted garlic bisque. It's unique. It's vegetarian as well. And it's a uh, roasted garlic bisque. I roast tons and tons and tons of garlic. The stock is made from the garlic skin, so the whole thing is vegetarian and it's topped with toasted almonds. It's very creamy. It's delicious. And, and, you're, and so uh, if you want to come to our tea jets in the Village of the Arts, the address is 1418 13th Street West. We're open Tuesday through Saturday for dinner at 5 to 9 and, and Thursday through Saturday for lunch 11 to 2. Well, no one should go hungry, and I've gone to this event for, I think, probably 10 years now, and uh, I was commenting be before, I usually pick out a green bowl, but today's a, a yellow bowl for some reason, actually has Mickey, Mickey in there. Um, I am just, it, it warms my heart to be at this event. Uh, I think it's the first year at the Manatee Performing Arts Center, and it's such an incredible event to see people come together to really do, in some small manner, uh, something to prevent homeless, because homelessness or, or hunger. Because to me, it's one of the most important things we can do individually and collectively as a community to make sure that no one goes hungry, especially uh, during the holiday season. No one, like I said earlier, no, no one should go hungry. And if, if you're having a bad day, get involved with Meals on Wheels and go on a meal delivery route. And it will put things in perspective. We have some very needy seniors uh, in our community. And many times, uh, the food delivery person comes to their home, and that's the only person of contact they have during the day. And I've done the delivery route several times, and it just, it just warms your heart. And my heart goes out to anyone that can't find a good hot meal. And thanks to organizations like this one and the donors we have today, um, it will raise a whole bunch of money to make sure that our community never goes hungry just be as generous a as you can. It's the season of giving, and if you're going to Publix or, or Winn-Dixie, pick up a couple cans. Uh, schedule a, uh, a delivery route or, or a donation route uh, at your local business. I do that at my law firm, and we've done that uh, in my, my political office. So get folks together to, to donate as much food as you can. Take a, take a tour of the Meals on Wheels facility. That'll really open up your eyes. But overall, just be generous. Be generous in this. And I don't have to tell Manatee County folks to be generous. They are generous. Uh, but we all, we all can do a little bit more. It's a busy time of year. We, we are actually done through five of our six uh, committee weeks. We'll have our final committee week after, after Thanksgiving. This is the first time I've ever talked with a bowl in my hand, by the way. <laughs> uh, so it, we are approaching. Um, Session. Session will start uh, January 14th. It's a 60-day session. Uh, bills are being filed. As a matter of fact, I just pushed the button and filed my second bill uh, of the session. So uh, stuff is being heard, and, and it's going to be very, very active over the next uh, several months. Hello, I'm Terry McNamara. I'm from Sun City Center, Florida. And I'm here today to support Empty Bowls. It's my 20th year participating. I've been making bowls anywhere from 50 to 75 every year for uh, the Food Bank of Manatee. I am blessed in knowing that I'm never hungry, but I know that people are hungry out there. And I have the ability to make bowls, so bowls I make. Uh, this event I made about between 50 and 60 bowls, and uh, I also participate with uh, St. Petersburg, St. Vincent's de Paul, and in our community, we're doing our first Empty Bowls event. So I'm making lots of bowls every year. I, I think what it, it is a reminder of is that when you're home, in your comfortable home, having a bowl of soup or chili in, in a handmade bowl, that in fact you did help feed somebody's uh, belly by making a contribution to the Food Bank of Manatee. Uh, and to make an average bowl, I've been making pottery for over 30 years, so I can make a bowl from the wheel, spinning on the wheel in about five minutes time. And then it takes overnight for it to dry, and then I trim it, and then I fire it first, bisque firing, and then I glaze it. So it's a process that to do it comfortably from beginning to end is a month, from creation to uh, completion. So it does take time, it does take thought, um, but it's such a pleasurable thing to do. So I really love making bowls, and this is a great place to make pottery for me and then to give to somebody else. Uh, the Food Bank of Manatees does a great thing to help a lot of people, and I've uh, been on uh, food services up in my community for delivering of Meals on Wheels. And yes, some people don't have contact with others, and it's a really important thing to keep connected. 
Hello, my name is Tracy Hazanel. I'm one of the owners of Cremesh European Restaurant in Bradenton. And uh, today we're serving cream of mushroom soup. Well, I probably, this is probably about my third or fourth, but um, originally, about eight years ago, I was, I was working as marketing for Meals on Wheels and I was running these, so this is my baby. Yes, I have, and I just look forward to this. I've told them, as long as we have a restaurant, we'll be here. Well, I know there is a lot of poverty in Bradenton, and I see, I've been to the food bank, and I know they work through all the charities and, and all the churches, and I see that they really are helping the people get the food for, for their pantries. And also, I also know lots of delivery people, and they are amazing when they go and deliver the food to the old people, and sometimes it's their only company, so I really appreciate the volunteers of this company. Well, I've always said that um, Bradenton and this area are the most generous people I know. They are so warm-hearted and that the, the volunteers, there are so many organizations, I see them here at the Arts Center, I see them everywhere. And the volunteers, most Americans are volunteers by the time they, they, they retire. I think Americans are amazing. I think that um, number one is to help people less fortunate than yourselves. I mean, it's hard sometimes to put food on the, on the table and, these, and the food bank really does help the people who can't quite make it. All right, well, we're located on Manatee and 75th Street, which is just before the causeway to um, Anna Maria Island. We're in the little Publix Plaza. We're a European restaurant, so I am English, as you can tell, and my husband, the chef, is Czech Republic, from Czech Republic. So the food basically features um, European food like beef stroganoff and duck, and we do some amazing sandwiches and a brilliant burger made with filet mignon and pork fat belly. So we, we're, we're a little bit of everything. Okay. We're open um, lunch from Tuesday to Friday and Sunday. And then we're open for dinner from Tuesday to Sunday from 5 to 9. And on uh, Saturdays we're closed for cooking classes and art classes. We like to, we have a lot of love for people and we like to share our, everything we have with the people. People, they need our help. I'm there for them. Just ask me and I'll be there for everybody. Many, many years. I don't count the years. <laughs> But I'm here, I love to do it, yes. Important because we help the people, the people they need help, and going for a good cost. Chicken lemon soup. And you've already gone. And the, gone. Almost, yes, yes, well, thank you. That's pretty amazing. Thank you, thank you. We try. Yeah. People love that. I try to bring different suits, but they say no. This, <laughs> <laughs> we like the chicken lemon soup. I say, okay. And it's a specialty. It's a specialty, here. yes. It's our house soup, yes. I try the mushroom soup. It's excellent. Pretty good. No, I try no, my no. neighbor's excellent. Very good soup. Okay. This is, yes, it uh, is. Yes. And I like you, another thing, you get to see a lot of restaurant people and That's who became right. friends and, and who go out and you we know enjoy most it. Of the, you yes, know most of yes, these yes everybody. I'm looking for every year. Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. My name is Alexis. I'm representing Manatee Technical College and my soup is lobster bisque. Um, I've been a part of it since the beginning of August. Yes, definitely. I mean, my long term goal, I would like to open up my own restaurant maybe one day. <laughs> The students come into the program with a desire uh, and an interest in food. They come to learn uh, skills, that knife cuts, kitchen etiquette, sanitation, all the rules that uh, need to be present in a kitchen setting so that when they're done with the program, they can go out and become gainfully employed. Absolutely, absolutely. We fry, we poach, we saute, we make sauces, we do all of the mother sauces. Uh, they cook all kinds of protein from chicken to uh, steaks to quail, you name it, they get involved in everything. Um, well, I had to make a fish stock uh, as well as a, a fish roulette. <laughs> it's definitely a long process, but it's such an amazing soup, so it was worth it, definitely. Like, I had fun doing it. Um, it's good to be involved in stuff like this. Um, it's good to hear feedback about, um, you know, how you're doing and stuff. Like, it's, it's good to hear, you know, people enjoying, you know, something that you made. It's a really good feeling. And, you know, you're making people happy because you're feeding people. So it's all a good thing. <laughs>
this is my first year participating. I believe it's the school's first year participating. Uh, we have another crew that'll be out tomorrow as well with at Lakewood Ranch. They'll be doing a, another suit that one of the students has taken ownership of and prepared to for presentation just like Alexis did. So it's, it's a good opportunity for the students to become involved with things that support the community. It's a really great school. I mean, I look forward to coming every single day. I feel like, you know, there's so much to learn. You know, it's, it's a really great in experience. I think if you, you know, want to go into that field, I would definitely recommend joining MTC. My name is Karen Hodge and I'm the marketing director for Madison's Restaurants and Catering and we're here today to support Meals on Wheels Plus with our contribution to Empty Bowls. We love this event. It's my personal favorite event in Manatee County and we're just happy to be part of it and show support for the food bank. Absolutely, on both sides. The restaurants that are participating, the sponsors, the people coming to the event because they know it's a great event and, and uh, good support for the uh, Meals on Wheels program. And the fact that they have two days and they're out in Lakewood Ranch uh, tomorrow. So we're just happy to be part of it. We love this community and we're uh, glad that we are able to contribute to help the nonprofits in the, our community. Well, because our county needs it. There's um, a lot of underserved um, people in our county and that have trouble um, getting food. A lot of food deserts in the area, they don't have access, whether it's due to transportation um, challenges, um, financial challenges. So we have to make sure that us as a business community and us as a particular business that serves food, that we are looking at helping those that need help. So we have three locations. We have one here in Bradenton, right next to the Courtyard Marriott, right on the beautiful Riverwalk. We also have our Madison's City Grill in downtown Sarasota, right on Lemon and Main. And our uh, other location is all the way south Sarasota on South Tamiami Trail, about a half mile past Clark Road. But all three Madisons um, have their unique personalities, great happy hours, great menus. We really support our local farmers, regional farmers, sustainability. So Paul Madison is a big supporter of that, and really we look for partners um, that are like-minded and food forward. Our catering, I tell you, is second to none. I've been with Madison's about a year and a half, and every time I go to an event, I am blown away by the level of professionalism and customer service that we provide. We are the number one caterer in the area, as voted on by the people. So, yes, we definitely uh, have a very strong uh, catering department, and we love doing catered events. Absolutely. If you can, help. Um, you know, sometimes you never know how close you are to being in need of services. So while you can, give back. And if you have the resources, even if the resource is time, maybe it's not money, but maybe it's time and effort, or come to an event like this and you pay $30, you get a beautiful bowl that's handmade, you get to try all these delicious soups, you'd be surprised how filled up you get on soup. <laughs> but this is a great event, and uh, like I said, it's one of my favorites, and I'm really glad that uh, Madison's is able to help support it. Okay, my name is Rita Scarpati, and I'm the managing partner at the Cortez Road West Metro Diner. We're new in the community. We opened March 12th this past year, and the Bradenton community has been very, very uh, grateful for us to, to be here, and we are grateful for them. Um, we serve great food, large portions, home cooked from beginning to end. The people I'm with right now is Clark Wimbley. He's one of our head cooks. And I also have Erica here as well. She's one of our head servers. So um, we have a great team over there on, on Cortez Road West. Okay. Meals on Wheels goes pretty deep for me. Um, 20 years, uh, my cousin was back in Pennsylvania, was the director of Meals on Wheels. So that when I looked at the list of people that we could support in our, in our soft opening back in March, Meals on Wheels was at the top of my list. Um, I feel that Meals on Wheels is just not about the food that we deliver. It's about the people who sometimes don't get too many people to contact them during their time and that's our only source of contact with the outside world and with people who can sit down and chat with them it's just not about the food um, although that helps I'm sure oh, the, oh I thought the turnout was great I thought the turnout was a great turnout um, there's a lot of people who I knew and many people who I haven't met yet so it was great exposure for my diner and it's for a great cause as well so it's a win-win we have a Menorcan soup a Menorcan clam soup clam chowder that has bacon clam tomato the tally peppers potatoes Meals on Wheels is a great, a great organization. It really is. And restaurants are about food. 
So here we are serving our soups and our specialties to people who maybe don't know much about Meals on Wheels. It gives them a great exposure to learn about that organization as well, you know, and along with getting our, ourselves out there and they're getting a great product. Hi, I'm Steve Baird, uh, board member of Meals on Wheels Plus for the last couple of years. I feel it's important that everyone in the community eats well, that there's hunger. A lot of people don't understand the level of hunger. It's with seniors, it's with kids, it's with those who have rough things in their life. It could be a divorce, it could be a medical emergency, it could be layoffs. And Meals on Wheels Plus, through its food bank and through the Meals on Wheels delivery services and other things, provides a very necessary uh, service to the community and to those in need. And if it wasn't for organizations like Meals on Wheels Plus, a lot of people would not have a good sound meal. And that is the reason I support them. This is a great activity here uh, today uh, with a lot of restaurants donating and helping. And it's the community. And I want to say to everyone, it's our community and it's what each of us make it. Well, you know, it's very interesting, the great level of support that uh, Meals on Wheels Plus has in the community and across the board. Uh, I was active in the Richmond area in the food bank, Feed More up there. And a lot of people don't understand that many of the p most successful people in the community at some time in their life have gotten help from food banks and or their parents have gotten help from Meals on Wheels Plus. And they recognize the need and the help of it. And it's very, very rewarding to help people here. Food banks and Meals on Wheels Plus uh, live on contributions. And the more contributions we can get, the better we can serve. And again, I want to say it's our community and it's what we each make it and we need your help. Well, it's not only so important to Meals on Meals Plus, but it's also a very special day here, not only because of the 19th anniversary, but also we're in a new venue here at the beautiful Manatee Performing Arts Center. So we're so grateful to Janine and company for having us and hosting us here today. This is such a special event because it is our largest fundraiser for the Food Bank of Manatee. And as you know, the Food Bank of Manatee has become an independent food bank here. We are a local resource serving local pantries, taking local donations to feed our community. So this event, these lunches um, this year absolutely means so much and um, will help us to maintain um, a supply of food on our shelves. Well, let's put it this way. We have not seen a decline. In fact, we're still maintaining close to 100 pantries and agencies, many of which who come shopping so they can have food for their giveaway to people who stand in line to get a box of food. So it is, uh, we haven't seen a decline, let's put it that way. And um, we know from the Alice report and other statistics here in Manatee County, We've got about 60% of our school age children on free or reduced lunch. We have about 44% of households, 44% of households in Manatee County are living at the ALICE, and that's the acronym for Asset Limited Income Constrained But Employed. So what that means is you have people who are just one episode away from a complete disaster, whether that's you know an electric bill or a flat tire or a problem with the car. So they rely on the pantries to get the food. They are. Um, you know, they're an essential in our community to keep people going. So again, those are people that are back employed from, from the recession years ago, but they're just that one episode. They're just maybe not making what they made before, or maybe they have exhausted their retirement and they rely on the food pantries. And that's where the food bank comes in. And I say a lot of people get confused between a pantry and the food bank. So the food bank of Manatee, which is our program, just like a bank, we are the depository of food donations. And we share those uh, food donations with those hundred pantries and agencies right here in Manatee County, keeping it local. 
So Stuff the Bus was held just last month, and our goal was 100,000 pounds of food, which was an increase over last year, and we actually exceeded that goal and took in about 106,000 pounds of food. So big, big uh, difference, and uh, wonderful to see that food on our shelves. The other thing that we took in recently was 20 pallets of food from a register drive done back in September by Publix. So, you know, we're truly grateful for these partnerships and the community. It really comes from someone going to the grocery store and donating that $2, donating that $2 which in turn turns into pallets of food, which we just got at the food bank. Also, this is the time of year where people are so charitable and we have probably 200 barrels out in the community right now at businesses, neighborhoods. And so this is the time of year where people are so inclined to give. And so that's a great thing for us at the food bank. Sure, well, the plus is really um, the plus of programs that we offer. So um, I describe it as we are like a giant umbrella and under our umbrella, we have what's very well branded, home delivered meals, um, the Food Bank of Manatee. We operate Daybreak, the only licensed daycare program for older adults in, out in Lakewood Ranch. We operate Renaissance on 9th, an active senior center, and we operate two half-day dining programs for people over age 60, one on the east side, one on the west side of Manatee County. And we offer transportation to all of our senior programs. So um, there's a lot going on under that umbrella and a lot of programs um, all under the plus. Well, the most um, important way the community uh, can support us is, um, first of all, by donating uh, resources, whether that's food or funds, that will help us to maintain those shelves being stocked. That is the most important thing. Um, we also want the community to know that we are local. We are the one and only food bank in Manatee County. So all donations stay local. So when you give to us, you can be assured that your donation is staying local to feed um, our neighbors here in Manatee County. So that would be the most important message and just awareness of understanding the Meals on Meals Plus umbrella of programs. In many other counties, the programs are all separate. They're separate boards or separate financials or separate everything, separate staffs. In Manatee County, it's all under our umbrella, which makes it um, you know, cost effective. We share resources, we share the executive staff, we share the financial staff, and that makes it um, a little bit more economical, if you will. And 95 cents of every dollar stays into our programs here at Meals on Meals Plus.